Hello, my name is Philip Foster. I live in Fayetteville, Georgia, and I'm 68 years old. I'm a first time hearing aid user and uh, wanted to tell you about how I came to have hearing aids and the experience that I had with them. I uh, started out with, uh, I thought I wanted to go the really low cost route. I went to Costco and looked at what they had, but I wasn't, uh, after I researched things, I wasn't confident that what they had was gonna do the job for me. Um, I did a lot of work over the decades in very high noise environments, working with large engines. And um, so back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, hearing protection wasn't uh, a thing that people used a lot, and I didn't. Um, so I went to Costco, I went to an ENT, uh, I went to a large chain of hearing aid stores, and then I found a company called Zip Hearing and uh, found that they had a uh, kind of the sweet spot for me. So they had uh, audiologists who were very capable um, and they offered a lot of different brands of hearing aids. Um, I found a local provider. They're called Hearing Smiths uh, near me. And uh, they did an evaluation, made a recommendation, and they recommended Oticon. Uh, so I started out with a pair of Oticon Real 2s, um, and I used those for a, a few weeks. I had a couple of issues with those, um, and to the credit of Zip Hearing, they, um, they decided the Intent line had just uh, come out, just come out, and they... Uh, they swapped out the reels for the intents. Uh, I, I think they wanted to have some, you know, some real users out there. So uh, just wanted to tell you that the, uh, the, the intents have been good for me. Um, I have more hearing loss in one ear than the other and uh, the tuning and the technology of the hearing aid has really made a difference to me. Um, the Hearing Smith's audiologist, Rachel Smith, uh, helped me understand too that it's not just your ears and it's not just your hearing aids, it's your brain. Uh, so I'm sort of still adapting. My brain is still learning to hear again, uh, like I should have, especially the higher frequencies. Um, so it's been overall a positive experience. I will say, uh, though, that on the sort of challenging side, uh, that the linkage with the cell phone is not very good. Uh, so I'm constantly battling with uh, people on the other end of the phone. Uh, they, they can't hear me very well. If I get more than six or eight feet away from my phone uh, while I'm talking, uh, one ear or the other will drop out and sometimes the connection totally gets lost. Uh, so that's baffling to me because I've had Bluetooth um, you know, phone accessories before and I could get 40, 50 feet away and I'd be okay. Um, but, you know, I think Oticon is, is working on that. I hope they, <laughs> hope they get it squared away because that's a, that's a downside for me. Uh, I don't listen to really music or streaming audio in my hearing aid, so I can't comment about that. Um, you know, the, the result that I got is, is very good. Uh, the most challenging areas when you're in a restaurant, there's a lot of background noise, a lot of chatter, a lot of, you know, clanging and banging and that, a lot of background music, um, you know, but uh, I, I'm, I'm still adapting. Uh, so I, I think overall the hearing aids do a really good job. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with what I've got. I'm pleased with the service that I've got. I'm pleased with the provider and the price point that I got the hearing aids for. So that's my review, and I hope this is useful to you. Thanks.